Well, there's many different clubs here in Chilliwack, uh, Toastmasters, uh, Optimus Club, and then there's, there's Sir Optimus Club. That's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to Small Talk. Any and all are welcome here to come and chat with me. Hello, everyone. Time for another interview. Uh, my guest today is Dana Martin, and she's with the Sir Optimus Club. Welcome to the show, Donna. Uh, Dana, sorry, Dana. Thanks. Yeah, happy to be here. Looking forward to to uh, sharing some of our stuff with you for sure. Okay, so tell me first what the Optimist, the Sir Optimist Club, is all about. Well, uh, Sir Optimist is a uh, worldwide. We're a worldwide organization of women who are working to improve the lives of women and girls through education initiatives. Um, to help lift them up, right? To make this world a better place. And so we are, uh, there's a lot of us uh, around the world. Um, and uh, we are uh, in Canada here. We have our own, you know, uh, group of clubs, which goes to the United States. We're, we're part of a very large uh, federation of, of different clubs. So that's our initiative is to help make women's lives better for sure. Okay. So now are you with the Chilliwack Club? Yes. And what is your role? What do you do? Currently, right now, I am the chair of Heather's Hope Chest, and I am also on our board as just as a, a the board member at large, right? So I assist in that capacity. So tell me about the Hope Chest. Oh, Heather's Hope Chest is uh, incredible. Um, it is uh, uh, our, our response to helping a women in need. What it is, it is a free store for women or girls who are transitioning from something. It may be uh, from foster care. It could be from a domestic violence situation. It could be from homelessness, from prostitution, uh, substance use. I mean, uh, any, any of those things. And so what it is, it is a, a little store uh, that we provide uh, all of the things that they need to set up their kitchen, their, you know, bedding for, for their beds, uh, and, and, and things for the bathroom towels and stuff like that. So, okay, so where do you get these items? Yeah, that's a great question. We rely very heavily on, on the community. Uh, at large and Chilliwack has been incredible to us because there's so much. When you think about setting up a kitchen, mm -hmm. there's a lot that you know that 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 goes into it. And so we put out uh, bulletins that hey, we need this or we need that, and the community donates to us. Wow. Okay, that's really good. Now, how long have you been a member of this Raptimus? I have been a member for I think uh, 16 years now. Uh, uh, first started in the city with Sir Optimist International of Tri-Cities and then when I moved from the city to the country, <laughs> the country, uh -huh. uh, I joined the Chilliwack Club. So I've been a member there three years now. So do you know who founded the club? No, but you know Chilliwack is very old. It's eight, I think it's 86 years old. Okay. Uh, it has been around, it has been in Chilliwack. Uh, you know, the ladies back in the day, they started Meals on Wheels. Right, okay. They were the founders of Meals on Wheels in Chilliwack. Just right. a little tidbit, yeah. All right, yeah. That's, that's really interesting. So now in, in the Chilliwack Club, how many members do you have currently? We have, I think, 23 members, uh, which is good. You know, we yeah. are, we're always looking for more. Right. I think it's good because I, I know that like I was with the Optimist Club and, the, and Toastmasters and it's, and it, and clubs are fluid, right? Yes. It's, it's like sometimes you have lots of mem members and then people leave for various reasons. So 23 sounds like a good number, I think. Yeah, I think, I think it is, uh, you know, uh, you don't want to, yeah, we, you, like if you're getting down into the lower numbers, it gets really difficult to, to do any, any projects, right? Especially fundraising, right? Which, <laughs> which has, has been crucial, uh, which is crucial for us to do. We need to fundraise, right? And, and like for Heather's Hope Chest, um, you know, it was really interesting. We opened Heather's Hope Chest 
uh, in 2020. And guess what happened? <laughs> COVID. Oh, well, right. Well, yeah. So we had just barely launched. We were just getting ready to go and do a blitz with all service organizations all over Chilliwack to let them know that we are here mm. and COVID hit. But despite that, uh, so we had to use other methods like social media, lots of social media stuff. Um, we have been getting clients, right? So we could have more, we would like more, but yeah. we're, 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 we're getting clients. So how did they, people, those in need, how did they find out about it? Yeah, that's an interesting thing. So what we do is we are, we're all about partnerships, right? Working, you know, partnering with different agencies in the community. And so we, re we have reached out to all sorts of uh, different service organizations and we, we, they are the ones that would make the referral to us, right? They would refer uh, this woman or, or young woman to us, right? And really the only requirement that we have, well, we have that requirement and one other is that they are definitely in need, right? Uh, other than that, it's, it's, you know, it, it, that, that's all, all that we require. So it's, it's a different situation. It's not a walk-in store where you yeah. could walk in and get things. It is, uh, uh, it is, uh, it's very private. Mm, okay. Right. So clients come one-on-one, -on -one. they have the whole place to themselves. Okay. When they come, they don't have, there's nobody, us there, but there's nobody else there at all. Okay, that makes, and that's good, right? Because then there's no worry about, you know, this person wants this particular item. So there's nobody going to say, well, I wanted it. I saw it first. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. And also, you know, um, so we've had client, we've had clients come from very difficult situations. Okay. Mm. Um, one was, uh, we've had a woman who was in the witness protection or program. Really? Had, wow. Yes. And had been you know arrived in Chilliwack uh we didn't know her name we didn't know anything about her but she was fleeing a very violent situation and um yeah so so she was able to come and shop uh totally confidential nobody knew anything about anything where she was uh and it protected her right uh, that that's an extreme situation that we've had right wow yeah yeah well, it's amazing though when you think about it right yeah. I want to tell you about what the store looks like, though. Could I tell you about that, where it's located? Okay. So we have, it is in a storage locker facility. Oh, okay. Which is a little unusual. Um, and so we have two lockers side by side, right? Mm -hmm. One is for where we store, uh, you know, the, the extra stuff that we have or things that have been donated. And then right next door to it is is the store, as we call it. The hope chest itself right, right. and it, it's this is the moment that we you know that that we wait for so when clients come of course they're quite shocked a lot of them that they're going to a storage locker I imagine right yeah. and and then so we open up the the storage facility first and they look in there and they see boxes and they're thinking oh my gosh it's like storage wars now they're going to have to root through. And so we open that, and let them look. And we say, oh, this is the storage closet. No, no, this isn't it. And we now we open the other door. And, and mm. truly, everyone who sees it goes, oh, my. <laughs> because it's beautifully laid out right. so that they can shop. Everything's on shelves. And it's, it's neat and tidy. And, and that's the moment everything changes for this, for this woman. That's when it all changes. Well, you know, I was just thinking about the fact that it's in a storage facility it makes it even more private, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, whose idea was it? Uh, was it Heather? This Heather? Uh, well, well, it wasn't. Okay. So, uh, no, we, uh, so first of all, Heather is, the, the Hope Chest is named after Heather Rollins, who is our longest standing measure. But in actuality, there are there are three other hope chests uh, in in, uh, in in BC here. The first uh, project that started this it's called Annie's Closet in Victoria, mm -hmm. and the Seroptimist Club in Victoria opened that one. Mm -hmm. Then in the Tri Cities, when I was a member there, we had Bee's Closet. Okay. Then there's ours. There's Heather's Hope Chest, and in Abbotsford there is the Siam's Closet. 
uh, that's what they call it. So, okay. so, so there's four of us here in the province. Very good. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. So yeah. uh, now where is Star Optimist Club located? You mean where where we have our meetings yes. or yeah uh, we meet uh, well depends uh, how things are uh, but typically we have our meeting it's the third Wednesday of every month in the rendezvous restaurant okay so we we come early we have dinner with each other and then we get on with our meeting but recently like most others we've been doing it like this on Zoom right yes yeah. Yes. we're hoping to get back into per, in you know in person uh, eventually yeah well yeah uh, now as things are supposed to be opening up a little bit here in, in Chilliwack or in BC I believe right so yeah the, uh, as soon as that happens obviously you're going to be getting back to meeting in person yes as soon as we possibly can yeah, yes I think that that for a lot of people it's so much easier than doing the zoom right well, it, yeah, it is. It, you know, uh, uh, as women, we love to get together and socialize. And I think that's where that's where you build a, a really great club experience where you can start to feel like you, you really do belong somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what that's what you want when when you join an organization to feel like you have friends there, you know, people you can rely on. Right. Etc. Yeah, for sure. Um... Oh, I was just going to ask a question that just lost my train of thought there. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> now, how would, uh, if somebody wants to join or somebody wants to reach out, how would they do that? Well, they can uh, contact us on our uh, Facebook page. We have a pretty strong uh, Facebook profile there. Um, just say, hey, I'm interested. We'll get back to them. Uh, we have our, I think, we have a new website, which I'm not sure what the address is. We've just switched over to a, a different system in that. But yeah, Facebook uh, or Instagram to send us a message. Uh, we can, you know, we'll, we'll be on it immediately. And we have a membership chair who happens to be Heather right now. Okay. Um, and, uh, and, and we'll get back to them immediately. And they can come, uh, just have a visit, check us out, uh, you know, see what we do, uh, you know, if it's a fit for them. No pressure, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's great that a lot of people can go and just, what do they call it, audit, auditing? Yeah, yeah, City, yeah. Right? Yeah, and we've had a couple of new members. Um, amazingly, we had members uh, join us uh, and their, for, their meetings were all Zoom. So through the COVID uh, period, they joined. Uh, uh, and so it was really like amazing for them. They said, this is my first in-person meeting uh, here in, you know, it, with the club, and we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much is it? What are the fees to join the club? Oh, I think they're about one hundred and fifty dollars a year, one hundred and sixty yeah. something okay. like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we're just about out of time. I don't. I. Is there something else that you want to share before? Uh... Yeah, I would. So, okay, uh, just one thing. Uh, we have a, on April 9th, We are having our fifth annual pajamas and pearls. Uh, fundraiser. It's an awesome evening where you uh, you come in your pajamas. Uh -huh. Literally, do wear pajamas and pearls. Uh, and this is this is we have not been able to to do this big fundraiser for two years. So we have we had to cancel ours. Uh, you know, with with COVID. And uh, this is the this is uh, for us the big fundraiser that helps support Heather's Hope Chest. Uh, mm -hmm. The rent that we have to pay, which is a lot. Um, but also any other, all of our other projects that, that we have going on in that. So um, tickets are $75 there. If you go to our, uh, you know, on Facebook, go to uh, Chilliwack Seroptimist, uh, the Eventbrite link is there. And, you, you know, it would be so nice to just sell out um, and, uh, you know, and it's going to be a great party. It's a pretty fun time, right? So that where's that going to be? It's at the Curling Club in Chilliwack. Okay. Yeah. The one that yeah. one out in, in, in Chilliwack, downtown Chilliwack area? You know, uh, I'm a newbie still uh, to Chilliwack. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I don't actually know okay. where. I have never been there. So mm -hmm. I'm about to find out where it is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but it'll be on, like, as you said, it'll be on the Facebook link, right? So yeah. everything is there for yeah. people to know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing this. And, and it was good for me to, to learn about this. Optimist. I'd, I'd heard about it. You yeah, know, I never knew what it was about, and uh, and I know a lot of people will get it mixed up with the Optimist Club. I know that for a fact, yes. right? Yes. So it's good to know that there are two different, totally different organizations. Yeah, Sir Optimist means best for women. 
that's that's what the word in latin if ah. sorrow optimist ah. it actually is latin for uh, best for women okay. right okay. yeah how interesting yeah okay. well just stay on camera i'm just going to say goodbye to the audience okay um, yeah for those of you who who are interested in in finding out more about the sorrow optimist check it out on facebook and um i want to thank uh Dana Martin for being here. I really appreciate getting all that knowledge. And uh, everybody, I hope you have a, the rest of the long weekend or whatever day it is today, Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody and peace out. <laughs> now I've got to find the off button. There a sense of community to the wax of place to be. A sense of community when you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see.